Right then, come on, let's smash through some bus stop method division. So, just a couple of questions, just to give you a flavour. We've got 243 divided by 3. Now that number doesn't look particularly pleasant at the front, but that's fine. We're going to stick it under a bus stop. Because what else would you do with it? Okay, 200, I'm going to hit my numbers out a little bit more. Okay, 243, okay, and it's divided by 3. So our number is going to go outside of that bus stop that we are dividing by. Now, the first thing that we need to look at is how many times is 3 going to go into 2? Well, that doesn't work, okay? So, above that, I'll write a big zero, okay? That's, that's not going to happen, okay? And then what I'm going to do is that two is useless now, okay? And so I'm going to move him over because he's going to help me out, okay? So it doesn't go into two at all, so that two carries over to then make 24 instead. Now, three definitely does go into 24. Okay, so 3 times 8, we can write our times tables down the side if we want to, that sometimes helps. 3 times 8 is 24, so I know that I can write 8 above there because it goes into 24, so this 3 goes into 24 8 times. Okay, now the last one that we need to do, how many times does 3 go into 3? Well, that's quite a nice one, isn't it? Okay, 3 goes into 3 once. So our answer there sits on top of the bus stop now, okay? So the answer to 243 divided by 3 is 81. Nice one. Next. Ooh, 67 divided by 5. So let's have our 67. And let's put a little bus stop over him. There we go. And he's being divided by Five today. Lucky him. Now, first things first, how many times will five go into six? Well, it's going to go once. Okay, it's one, two, four, five, and then you've got six after. So it's going to go once, but we have one left over from that. Okay, because we've got five and then it goes up to six. So we've got one more that we haven't used. So that one is going to sit next to there and make that 17. Okay, perfect. So 5 into 17 now. So this is where, like I said previously, you can write it down the side. Okay, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, I don't need to go any further because I've only got 17. So definitely goes once, definitely goes twice, goes three times. But then once we get to 20, we've gone too far over 17, okay? So there's this one here that we want. It goes in three times, but our number here is 17. So again, I've got two left over, okay? Now, what we can do is we can just write 13, and because we've got two left over, we can write remainder two, okay? So that's what's remaining. So we call it a remainder of two. These are about trial and error, okay? You can pick random numbers out for yourself to have a go at. If you've got a, uh, a 10 sided dice, they're always really good. Roll them, grab some numbers, put them into a problem for yourself and a, a calculation for yourself and just have a go at trying to divide various different types of numbers using the bus stop method, okay? Try and only do the two digit or three digit divided by one digit. Don't go, and, don't go too much further because then you're probably more likely to be using long division or formal division or chunking or the different types of methods of division other than the bus stop method, okay?